my name is Raw Sky and welcome to my channel. So this is a juice diary where I share where I'm up to with juicing, I'm up to day 31 and let me walk you through this day. I'll also answer some questions for you. So day 31, I woke up, I was a little tired the night before I'd been to a festival for Australia Day. I find being around like flashing lights and really loud sounds, it can really just set off my nervous system. So. I always wake up a little sluggish after a little less like feeling hungover. Anyway, I got myself up and did a run and that felt really good. And um, what I have noticed about running though is I am taking it as easy as I can, but I want to back off. It can cause some histamine type symptoms. It seems to give high cortisol levels. So I'm really watching that um, because I don't want to set off any old symptoms. So after my running, I was really drawn yesterday to a lot of coconut water. On any day like that, it means I'm a bit dehydrated. Now this makes sense because you have to remember when you juice things like sweet fruits, like grapes. Now the day before day 31 was day 30 where I did grapes all day is without the skin and without the fiber, you get a blood sugar spike. And for me, not having a stomach, it can be quite high. That will dehydrate you because it sets off like an autonomic nerve response where you will get like hot flushes, you'll get heart palpitations, you can get an upset stomach. So everybody's body's different, but I need to be cautious of that because yesterday um, on day 31, all I wanted was coconut water all day. Um, I did still have a little bit of grape juice, but mostly coconut water. I also had a couple of green juices. That was really nice to have. So I would have had three liters of coconut water, about a liter of grape juice and two liters of green. In the evening, I had about 600 mils of walnut milk. Now I wanna to just touch on that. I've had some comments saying that that is not juice. If you take the fluid out of anything, it is juice. If you take a pillow and put it in a blender, strain it out, you've got pillow juice. So of course it's juice if you wanna be technical. And I want to remind people, I did have Detox Tori on and we did talk about how um, vegetable juices, nut milks, greens are all supportive when you want to heal your system or detox the system. Um, you want to have nutrition in your body so your body will be fueled to detox. If you make yourself extremely sick, your body needs to keep you alive. It's not worried about getting things out. It's going to keep you alive. So I'm all about supporting my body. I'm basically doing a juice diet in the sense that I want to drink what I would usually eat. So basically yesterday I was dehydrated though and on a normal day if I was dehydrated I'd have a lot of coconut water. Um, so that was all very similar. As I said I had the nut milk in the evening, I went through everything else I had. I also did try last night to do like a, a small, a very small avocado milk and how I did that is I, I got a tablespoon of the avocado, put it through the blender sifted it through the nut milk bag a few times and I tried that. I really didn't like it. It really didn't sit well, didn't feel right, didn't really bring me any benefits, so I won't be doing that again. Um, but look, it's all about trialing what's gonna work for you, what works for your body. I am here to promote don't give up. There is a way, look, I've used things before, like the raw food diet healed me of 32 years of chronic illness. The grape cure diet, I was on grapes for three weeks. It got rid of a tooth pain. My hair was growing great. I felt amazing. This time, those two didn't work. I went to juices, it took a while to find what was gonna work. I've got some videos on my channel. You can look at those, go back through, have a look. I'll link below some of them as well, but you've really got to do what works. Another question I've been asked is about how I will know if I have healed, because I think to a lot of people, people are like, you're well, you're doing amazing. And yes, I am. I feel absolutely incredible. I healed all of my shingle symptoms. I've healed the chronic fatigue, which came back. ADHD flared up, that's gone. Candida's gone, as long as I don't have too much sweet juice. Histamine intolerance is not flaring up, but if I do have a lot of a histamine um, high fruit, it will flare up still. But how I'm judging um, how my healing is going is especially my gut health. I think I've said this before on the channel that as soon as I got my gut health flowing, all of my problems went. My system just, it felt like, and I know I've gone on about this, but it felt like the stomach gets lodged or doesn't move as fast then the kidneys and liver really wear the brunt of a lot of toxins. Like it gets backed up, it just seeps back in. 
then you start to see rashes nerves are getting like toxins around it's just this whole problem through my system just broke out as I got flow moving through the system with the juices it was like everything just calmed so I'm really grateful for that but the way I know that my healing is is going um, on plan or when I will break this is there's two things the first is I want my stomach to not be distressed not be upset now it is pretty flat but it still can swell sometimes it's definitely not perfect yet the other way i will know when it's time to come off the juices is my body will tell me i'll get to a point where i will know it needs food i will know that it needs more maybe a smoothie uh, i'm not there yet also i'm still releasing waste i think that's a great idea too that i'm on this so i may as well stay on it and give myself a good flush um, but it, in truth, it's really about getting my gut health back. Once that settles completely, I will be happy. I will be extremely happy at that point. I think that's when my body will want more food, but we can see how it goes. Healing is a journey. This is working incredibly well for me. I really am feeling absolutely amazing. Um, I love getting on here and talking to you guys and sharing where I'm up to for my day. Um, yeah, so I'm sending everybody lots of love. That's where I'm at at the moment. That's how I know when I'll finish healing. And that's what my day is like. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.